Hey, it's your Jelly Mama, and today I'm working with the fabulous Kiki London to show you not one, but four drag marble effects that you can create using gel polish. So I'm going to be using all of the polishes from their new full collection, which is displayed here. There is a link in the description box if you want to go and uh, purchase these. So for the first design, you want to take a dotting tool and put a large dot in the middle of your nail. Then with a detail brush, go around with the colours uh, while the polish is wet. So the order I'm putting these polishes in is I've started off with Miss Mauve, then I've gone in with Blue Navy, then Soldier Girl, and then I go back to Miss Mauve. And I repeat it in that order until all of the nail is completely filled with the polish. Make sure as well that you're not, um, you know, making it like really, really thick. You want to try and put it on as like thin and evenly as possible. Um, it will just help, you know, with, with the cleanup process and obviously making sure that it's not like bulky in some parts and not in other, um, which will help with the longevity and the wear of the um, nail design. So here's the nail now where it's pretty much completely filled. So you want to make sure you don't cure it at this point because this is where you're going to be adding the design. And to avoid having the colours all muddied up, I am wiping the brush with each swipe so it's nice and, and clean. So I am dragging the polish down into to the centre, as you can see here. And then it creates this kind of like flower look. It's a real cool way to have a play around with a gel, a gel polish designs. So obviously some things that you want to keep in mind when doing this on your own nails is you want to make sure if there's a bit of build up on the side that you wipe it off with a cleanup brush and some isopropyl alcohol before you put it in the lamp because that will avoid any sort of breaking or chipping of the nail design. So I'm just sort of raz the uh, dotting tool around in the middle just to make that a little bit more swirly. So that was design one done and cured. So I'm going on to design two. So I'm doing the same process as the one before. I'm just um, putting it in a circular motion until all of the nail is filled. So I've used Honey Bee, Royalty and Mr. Grey um, for this autumn look. And then what you want to do is just take a brush, a bit of a thicker brush, and you're literally just dragging it, not taking it off the nail, right to the bottom. And you kind of get this real cool, uh, swirly effect. And you can come in if it's just, if you can see the base peeping through and alter it a little bit. So I sort of manipulated this a little bit more. I just wanted to add some more purple around the top of it, like so. I just thought it really helped make the sort of drag marble theme sort of flow through, through more. So for the third design now, I have got all the colours like laid out um, and I'm going to get a flat brush and I'm just going through and dragging the brush through all of those covers and then I am just then dragging that polish down the nail. I'm doing a bit of a swirl. This is the first time I've attempted this, so it might not look as great as others, but it's that's how you can get a real cool way um, to make this look um, and then uh, again you can come in in and if you want to add a bit more color and you know just put it in wet on top of it while it's still wet and it's just really really cool I thought a thought that is literally just come to me now as I'm doing the voiceover is you could have made this look like a bit 3d like you could outline it with black and add a bit of shadow so that's an extra thought uh, or an extra alternate look to this to this manny so because this has gone a little bit thicker, I want to be able to buff that down so it's all one level. So I'm putting on their Builder Gel because it's obviously a lot thicker than normal gel top coat. And it's a lot more durable so you can really um, file it down well and it's not going to affect uh, the design that's going on underneath. So I'm just going to be uh, buffing it off now, just buff off the whole nail until it's all even. So this is what it all looks like. So it's all nice and even now. So you really want to do that to make sure, again, to avoid um, sort of breaking or chipping. 
So with this one, I am putting the colours going across horizontally now, uh, again in just lines. So I'm using Mr. Grey and Honey Bee. In fact, I'm putting all of the colours down this uh, nail. I'm just doing it in nice thin strips like so until all of the nail is completely filled. Then I'm coming in with a striper brush and I'm just going from the bottom and dragging it all the way through vertically and then coming down the other way. So this is a real cool effect, it's a real simple way. So because I was going to mess up there, I took it back off, cleaned the brush and then came back in and swiped it up, which kind of saved it. So that's a real simple drag marble, but it's really, really effective. I love how the colours all blend together. So I... I love playing with gels this way and you know experimenting with the with the colors it's such a fun way I think it's a real funky way to have a nail design you can have this as an accent nail or if you're feeling really you know bright and expressive you can have it on all of your 10 nails as well um, if you're good with you know, using your non-dominant hand so here are four drag marble designs that you could incorporate into a nail design so let me know your thoughts on them which is your favorite if you're going to recreate this we'd love to see it um so you can tag us in on instagram um, um kiki london's instagram details are on screen as well and yeah we'd love to see your recreations of these designs so thank you so much for watching and take care and i'll see you in the next one bye